everything. It's kind right. of a prerequisite. Yeah, I think so. I think so. All right, let's jump into the last topic of the day. The Bucks reportedly have O.J. Howard on the trade block. Now, obviously, we can sit here and discuss exactly what that means. Uh, O.J. Howard wasn't the number one tight end anyway. He's just got a ton of potential that hasn't been tapped into yet. Uh, Why do you think he has a ton of potential? Because we, we saw him do it in college. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that he can do it in the pros, but we he didn't do it in college, college at a regular level either. So uh, he's just he's not built like a regular tight end. He's built more like a wide receiver. He's just big. He's a big guy. Uh, he's but fast. he's way he's, too slow to be a wide receiver. And that's that's what's crazy. He's fast. Like, I know he's fast. but He's fast he's, for a big guy. Yeah, and that's the thing. He's he's too slow for a wide receiver, but he's I, but he may not be big enough to be like a blocking tight end. It, it, I don't know how you can use it, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you this: you've been in the league for three years. If you're not good by now, yeah, yeah, there it's, ain't no it's not the system. It's not you know you you've had three different play callers working with you, trying to get you the football. There's a reason they're trying to trade him because they don't think he's any good. Um, now when people when people bring up all the weapons that Tampa Bay has, they always say, "Well, they've got like a big three, and they throw his name in there." And I just don't understand where that comes from. I just don't know why. Like, he's never been good. Why yeah. would he be good now? No, you, you're right. You're right. You're 100% right. Um, so I, I think that leads to the question of, is is Gronk coming back, right? Like, no, <laughs> Gronk's not coming back. I mean, obviously, everybody wants him to. Everybody wants to talk about it. Um, but he's not. If he was going to go he's anywhere, not. it would have to be Tampa Bay with Tom Brady. The issue is... And I know everybody wants to jump to these conclusions and what everybody wants to talk about it, but New England still holds his rights. Like they're not just going to yeah, no, give him if away. He came back, he would. If he came back, he would stay in New England. He's not going just because Tom left doesn't mean Gronk would go with him. They're you not don't a think package so? deal. I don't know, man. Like I, I think I think if he was going to come back to the NFL, he'd want to go to the quarterback that he trusts, right? Like if he was going to come back matter. just for one year. Well, hey, you can want whatever you want. They have his rights. They're not going to release him. If he came back, he would play for New England. He's not coming back. That's, he's lost yeah. too much weight. If, he's if you look way at too him, small. Uh, let's see. Gronk. He cannot come back and play. <laughs> Michael said Gronk to Tampa, and then he said Gary and his Bama guys, LOL. Yeah. I know. I'm a little biased. I don't hide from it all the time. Now, sometimes I do, but but not this go-round. Yeah, look, I, I like O'Day. we got to have some evidence as to the, the fact that the dude's good. He's just not good. He yeah, he, hasn't, he hasn't been good. He is a bust. And he, I, I'll tell you this, uh, I don't feel like he was properly used at Alabama, and I think if he... That's the best place he had. I That's know. the most productivity he's ever had. Yeah. I mean, he... So if it, he wasn't properly used there, then nobody can use... Then he's worthless. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're 100% right. But the, I think his biggest issue at Alabama was uh, he wasn't big enough to be a blocking tight end, and he's not fast enough to be a wide receiver, so... What Linebackers do you do in this league can cover him. Yeah. And if you're if you're a tight end and you can't get away from linebackers, then you can't play. Yeah. You just uh, can't play. It, he well, doesn't if you can't have get away from linebackers to go up and get the ball like your Gronks can, like your Jimmy Grahams can. Yeah. You know, like your Antonio Gates could. You you have to have great athleticism. And I, I thought he had all of those measurables. He just doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't. We got three years of tape to show he doesn't. Yeah. We got a team that drafted him in the first round. Oh, yeah. They, they are invested in him being good so they don't lose their job. And guess what? He's not. He's just not. Do you think Tom Brady has uh, has a say in what they do with their roster? At not right now because he doesn't know any of these guys. The only way he would is if there was somebody he wanted to bring in. And that would be a, the only way he would be able to call. He would say, call this person. I want them. That would be it. But saying somebody that's already currently there doesn't need to be there. He doesn't have enough information. And he's also never been that kind of guy. Yeah. You know, he's never been that with the Patriots. He's never, we have no history that he wants to control the roster. Yeah. And that's, I, I think you're right. That, that was a big rumor coming out is any team that signed Tom was going to have to give him uh, some control over the roster and i that just seemed kind of ludicrous that, to me that, that just seemed, that, that, we have we have 20 years of evidence that says that's just not true that's just not true yeah i mean you got that right I, 20 years is a long long damn time 
That's a hey. lot of evidence. Michael said, "What's uh, what's the price for Gronk? O'Brien would give up a first. Uh, probably. I mean, <laughs> but Gronk. Why would you just trade? Not like, coming. Yeah, he's not coming. Back. He's not, not big enough back. anymore. I mean, he's it, he's half the man that he was. He's easily lost sixty to seventy pounds. Yeah, I mean, if you've seen him recently, that, he ain't in football shape. He ain't even just, close. He, he just can't play football anymore at that size. No, because he's not fast enough to be a wide receiver, and he can't block anymore because yeah. all that weight that he lost was all muscle mass. Oh yeah, because he didn't I mean, have he, hardly fat. He didn't have much fat on to begin with. No, he's, you lose he's 60, just 70 a, pounds. You quit playing. He's partying it's because you've lost all that muscle. Yeah, he's enjoying himself. Now he's he's still got some muscle. He still looks good. Oh, he's no, lean, he's still jacked, but but he's not nearly as big as he was. No, he was a guard. Gantuan human, and and the biggest thing about Gronk was he was big enough to be a blocking tight end, but he could also go out and you couldn't cover him, right? You it wasn't cover. that he was no. necessarily fast; he wasn't the fastest tight end, but he, he could knew find how a to position his body to, yes. to to basically block you out. You got that right. You got that. I mean, right. He was just a master at boxing out, going up and getting the ball, high pointing it. I mean, he you know stretching out. He he just knew how to find the the football and. He was the best blocking tight end in the history of football. Yes. I mean, in the league. Yes, it, it wasn't even close. Wasn't even close. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. 